They're over in the kitchen and we have our craft queen, Terrio. She is going to teach us how to do a really, really cool and unique art project at home. And I was blown away because I thought they came this way. Mm -hmm. You know, ma'am. No, no ma'am. But the bulls are gorgeous by themselves. Well, here, let me just tell you something. Um, you know, I, I walk through Ikea and I, I look at things a little bit differently, like maybe some of you at home do too, where I see something beautiful and I think, gosh, you know, that's like a blank canvas to me. And I came across these beautiful bamboo wooden bowls they're and gorgeous. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous but I thought you know what I have a fun little tool that I can use to help embellish them so I actually kind of started a couple of projects over here I took this bowl right here and I use a wood burning tool and I just created a flower on the inside that is gorgeous Isn't that pretty I mean when I saw that I was like and I and it feels it's very you know you don't really Soft. feel no, it. It just right. looks like it's right into the wood. It looks like it's painted in, but yeah. it's not. It's burned into the wood. Wow. And then this was another one, um, a different idea where I started, and I just took some of this design here, and it was I was inspired by this right here. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. It's kind of like a, a like a, a fleur de lis. Yeah. Uh, not a fleur de lis. Uh, what am I trying to think of? Paisley, thank Paisley. you. Paisley pattern. And um, and then what I did is I colored in some of it with some markers, some colored markers. And what you can do with this is you can go in and you can customize it. So I figured I'd put made by and then I just I put great, my name it's a eventually. Great gift but. as well, you know, for people who like to, you know, cook a lot. This is just it's personal. Yes. It's a touch so, that's beautiful. You know somebody who's getting married, yeah. maybe they're engaged, they just bought their first home. You can customize it, it's you gorgeous. can write their names on the outside of it. So so this tool that I'm using, it's it's a wood burning tool and it comes with different tips. It has four different tips, and there's a lot more tips that you can get, you know, later. But this is the flow point tip and it looks like this, and it helps you do dots. Okay, and you can also write with it, do little curly cues like you did here. This is the shading point right here, and you can shade, you can do different um, types of, I don't know, you can just really got to play with it. And then this is the cone point. You can do teeny tiny dots, you can also write with it as well. And then this is the universal point, which is the same, which is the one I have here, which is exactly that. Universal. universal. You can do so many different things with it. So, what I suggest you do, first of all, is practice. Get a piece of wood and practice on the wood because I guarantee. I asked you that. I said, "Is this a stencil?" You said, "No, I did it freehand." I did. So I took a pencil and I just drew on my design. But don't do this until you practice on a piece of wood because you're going to find that each tip does something a little bit different, mm -hmm. and you're also going to find that um, depending on what you're working on, it's you know this bowl isn't is mm -hmm. the easiest part, but you know, surface to work on, but you know, it does work. And this gets very, very, very hot. This is not something you want the kids to do. So I drew my design on there right already. And I'm just gonna like, let me see if I can do this without right, messing it up. For you. No, it's okay. So I asked you also about the paint. Is there a particular type of paint that you need to use or pen to color? Well, you could use a paint, but the thing is, if you use a paint, you're going to cover up your design. Okay, so, so the markers okay. work really well because they become sort somewhat transparent. So that as you go in and you do all of these different, burn mm. these different designs into the bowl, you can kind of still see, you know, the design that you've burned in. If you use an acrylic paint, First of all, it's you're just going to cover up your design. So just a fine point, right? Fine point pen, right? Okay. But you know what? These are usable bowls, and that's the thing I want you to remember. And the funny thing is, when I when I looked at the the bowl and I took the the logo <laughs> off the bottom, I realized they burned in their logo. You into were onto wood. something right so from the I beginning. I love it. I love it. All right, so let me give you some more information on <laughs> IKEA. Of course, you love the project. You can go there and be inspired like me. I10 and Warner IKEA.com. Sign up for the free IKEA family card and receive special discounts and go buy bowls for everyone and <laughs> embellish them and give them as gifts. It's the perfect, it's the perfect <laughs> gift. I still have yet to get through the whole store. And we want to wish our wonderful producer, Margot Papke, a very happy there birthday. She, she loves being on TV, yes. too. Yes. Yeah. Say happy birthday on our Facebook page. See you tomorrow. <laughs>